Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Today we're going to go through all of Daniel Larson's TikToks and uh, read all the comments. He uh, made it private yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and do this while this is still up. I don't know, I don't really want to follow him because sometimes he follows you back, but I'll probably follow him. Because, yeah, I don't want to lose access to this because whatever... Uh, Whenever he it was down, if you followed him before that date, for some reason you could still see it. This is a test for my TikTok account, Daniel Larson underscore twenty twenty four. Check, check, check. All right, I'm going on tour in twenty twenty four. This is the newest account. Hmm. Hi, Daniel. I have to go back to the courthouse today. I'm still banned from CU University Stadium. How come Deion Sanders can't get you unbanned? Folsom Field. I was supposed to pay $1,000 in court fees before I left for the courthouse yesterday. Bob is making my mind crazy. I would post more if Bob helped more. I need a haircut. Uh No. Yesterday we were trying to troll the trolls. I just signed up for CU University again. I hear people talking about me. I have one week to pay $1,000 in court fees. That's tough. How are you going to get all that money? Your cash apps are all banned. I need a motel room tonight. The marketing idea was Comedy Electric was Columbia Records ideas. I need to pay my phone bill today. All right, this one's silent. I just got spotted. Are you okay? No, I am not. What's wrong? It's about to snow again. Find a Planet Fitness. You slept in those before, haven't you? They're warm. <laughs> yeah, specifically the bathroom. Get on in that bathroom, Daniel. I'm in extreme trouble. Are you okay? What's going on? I'm not okay. What happened? I'm in contact with Tina Vanderwall. Okay, Daniel. Sure you are. One of the ones you're in contact with, the fucking name was Tina Vanderwall underscore 69, man. Come on now. Is that not good? Has everything been settled with Tina and Grace so you can see Grace soon? I hope all is well. Keep the fans updated. We are here for you, bro. What happened, Daniel? I'm having major population issues in public after yesterday. How's Bob? Hi, Daniel. Well done. Sorry, everyone, but I am waiting for Bob right now to pay my bank account debt since it's completely in the negative this morning. It is December 3rd, 2023, and my bank account I woke up to being in the negative $60. I'm waiting for Bob to give me more money. I'm doing okay, exactly so what Bob told absolutely me. nothing I can do now. I am stranded in Boulder. It is December 3rd, 2023. And Bob won't pay any of my bills, won't pay any of my debt, so I'm fucking stranded. I'm doing exactly what Bob tells me. Right. It is December 3rd, 2023, and I am $60 in the negative balance in my bank account, and my phone bill is due tomorrow, and Bob won't answer any calls. I just, uh, I've been staying at the safe house. I just got spotted. I have to pay 300 a month now on court fees alone. I have to call the STAR program. K Bay says no. I'm concerned that we might be getting close to the end. I only have a few hours before I have to go back to the motel. I have court paperwork tomorrow. I have a meeting tomorrow with the World Protection Group again. That fucking this is a security company. Even on the site it says for high income, high profile people. Daniel thinks that the fucking the, the state's gonna pay a million dollars for some security for him. I guess. I have a meeting tomorrow with case management. I need to find a way to pay my phone bill. Use money. It works for me every time. <laughs> Everything is about to get worse. It will get better. 
I have to call all my probation officers now and let them know that I had the poli- that I had the police called on me yesterday. I've lost connection with Bob, so I can, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't remember what. Oh yeah, was that the one where uh, he stole the food and left? Or now there's all, there's all kinds of things he's done lately. I've lost connection with Bob, so I can't talk to him about the housing. I'm not going to be able to make it to my appointments tomorrow. New Daniel account active. Is he one of these people with 9,000 accounts? Obviously, they keep getting banned. Well, you know, don't show your PP online. All right. So I have gotten word from CU University that they saw my threats against Bob in the text messages, and they have now revoked my scholarship. Excellent news. Damn straight. You get a heart. All right. They saw my threat. So, it is November 28th, and I have gotten three more days in a motel room. Yeah, he's just posted all his shit out of order here on this one. I'm up to this, but I've never read the comments on the TikTok, and I'm going to start doing that. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through all of them right now. Might as well. It'd be like 40 of them. It'd be a little bit of a video. All right. It is... December 1st, 2023, and I just had to pay over $300 in back pay to my bank account. December 1st is my birthday. Almost got the day. I have found out that it takes up to 14 days for bills to go through my bank account. So I'm being charged like 100 to 200 a day. I have, it is now December 20, 23, the 3rd of December, and I am still stranded in Boulder, Colorado, still needing to get back. It is now December 3rd, 2023. And I've already paid over $500 this month in three days. It is now December 1st. Going back in time. 2023. <laughs> Going back in time. And I am staying on the streets all night long tonight. Good, I hope you, Daniel Popsicle, you're a horrible person. Now, December 2nd, 2020. It is now December 2nd, 2023, and I am going to the Boulder Homeless Shelter. Why can't you get a job? Daniel McDougall has apparently talked to Clark and the Vanderwalls and told them to stop messaging me. Daniel, if we are spreading the word that you and Grace will be dating. Are you safe? I am. I'll be updating my security. I'm about to do a full safety update. Daniel, you need to live to con- You need to go live to confirm your safety. Okay. Okay. But um, you go around and um, they're facing Ninth Street. So if their sign is just afraid, look for the green picnic table. Okay. And their door is right next to the green picnic table. Perfect. Thank you. Good luck. So the last two nights I've been staying at the Boulder Homeless Shelter. Our homeless president, you know, better than on the streets. Did you get arrested the other night? Or is it fake news, fake information? <laughs> you know what someone said one time? They said, uh, if you think the news is fake, imagine how bad for history must be. I am now waiting in Boulder for the coordinated entry to the Boulder homeless shelter. Have a nice day, bud. Yep, the homeless, uh, God, he's living in homeless shelters and shit, and he thinks he's going to be with this rich billionaire, I mean, millionaire, uh, Grace. Isn't that funny? 
Man, Time Magazine's choosing yet another white billionaire as the damn person of the year. You know, I think you could have chose someone that invented something or something other than fucking Taylor Swift, you know? I mean, you could have... I don't know, man. All righty. So I'm canceling tonight. So I'm on the streets tonight. I'm making an emergency trip to another town. My housing will not happen this week or ever, poor guy. He's not... He, they, they've tried to give him houses. He just uh, tears them up and shit. He's fucking crazy. He destroys everything that he gets in t contact with. He needs to be in an institution somewhere. It's, it's more obvious by the day. Mr. President, stay safe. America needs you. Hi. I'm about to take a huge risk. Daniel, I love you and support you. Okay, so it is December 4th, 2023, and I will be on the streets tonight. I am not doing a shelter. I will be on a two-day trip to run some errands, and hopefully we can keep the bull market going. I will keep everybody updated. This is the big schizo shit he's been on lately. The him thinking he can predict the fucking market and shit like that. He doesn't even read the market or nothing like that. He just says shit. It's a ball market. He just fucking just makes a bunch of shit up. Poor crazy guy. Travel south. Hello, Daniel. Do you need financial aid to perform these and security too? Colorado celebrity defense. Yet another troll. Not even... I don't know, man. For me, this is not a very... This is low effort. But for Daniel, man, they might believe that. What's the bull market? See, he knows more about stock market just asking that question than Daniel does saying all these crazy things. It is December 4th, 2023. I am now a older Colorado resident. No, you're not a resident. You're a transient. How are you today, Mr. President? I'm near Boulder, Daniel. I got a cottage for you, Mr. President. Yeah, this is just his ugly face with music. See, this is why I mute these. I don't want his stupid song, Roaring Thunder, to show up on my copyright. Here's more pictures of his ugly beak. Old Toucan Dan. Toucan Dan! You know he'd be selling Fruit Loops. He's so ugly. He looks so old, too, poor guy. He's only 24 years old. I'm uh, 25 years old now. I, man, he's looking like he's like 35, 34 years old. He's aged, you know, tw 10 years in the last two weeks. More of his ugly face. At least his hair is starting to grow in a little bit. Fucking rat teeth. I'm now stranded in Longmont, Colorado. Looking fabulous, Mr. President. Housing is fully delayed until further notice. I just got charged $75 to my bank account. I spent the last of my award points from Columbia Way. Okay. <laughs> I was back on the streets last night. I know he's the only person with record contracts on the street, tell you what. This is $346. How much are they giving him a day? Are they giving him 200 or 300 a day from his grandma's, uh, fucking his grandma's estate? Uh, it's sad, though. He gets all this money and he's always broke and shit like that, staying at homeless shelters, taking housing vouchers and stuff, people that don't have any money. It, the, the low end of what he gets that we figured out is $200 a day. So he's making at least $6,000 a month. This goon is making like $76,000, $72,000 a year. So there, there's no reason he shouldn't be living an excellent life. Okay, I haven't been able to use my debit card yet this month because I'm drowning in debt. I'm going to have to file for bankruptcy. This is real for my bank directly. This is serious. Bob calls me a liar about this amount. Daniel, you don't have any outstanding loans or anything like that. There's no reason. What would you file bankruptcy for? Your fucking your knapsack or your, fu <laughs> your fucking jacket? 
I just went to breakfast. I need to make an emergency trip to the bank. I need new socks. This is separate from my bank account. This amount is what I need yet to still do that isn't my bank that isn't in my bank account yet. This is my new amount I owe. So he had five thousand dollars and he gave it to uh trolls? Is that what are they are the trolls stealing money from Daniel now? Is that what's going on here? I wouldn't doubt it. All right, 30 minutes till. Get ready. My trench foot is back. Good. I hope your toes fall off. I need to get to probation tomorrow. Everything is about to get even more crazier. It will happen 100K Reddit by New Year's. So you want more people in the Reddit that make fun of you? I, I mean, I don't... <laughs> I'd be like, I hope the Reddit shrinks. If I were you, I hope people un unfucking sub from it. It is December fifth, twenty twenty three, and I woke up this morning to seventy five dollars in debt in my bank account. It is December fifth. 2023 and I need to try to get new socks today. Yep. Yep. It is December 5th, 2023 and tomorrow December 6th, 2023 I have probation in Westminster. Alright, I'm gonna say something and I don't want anyone to get mad, and I want everyone to know I'm not serious, all right? But uh, Grand Theft Auto 6, the main protagonist is female, and she has a kid. So basically, it's Grand Theft Auto Single Mother Simulator. Oh, no, but I'm not serious. Don't get mad that I said that. It's just a joke. All right, what are we on probation then for our kid? What are we on probation then for our kid? Okay. Okay, so by New Year's, we should be hitting 100k followers on the subreddit. It is December 5th, 2023. I am now a Boulder resident for Boulder, Colorado. No, Daniel, that's not how residency works. Residency means you rent a house and shit like that, and you get bills there. You're just a hobo. You're not a resident anywhere. That's the whole point of being homeless. You're not a resident, you know? You're a transient. It is now December 5th, 2023, and I now am required to pay a thousand dollars a month for housing for housing god he's talks so fucking weird though like i brought up in another video any normal person be like, i need to rent a house Daniel's like i need to find assistance for housing you know like, <laughs> he's so fucking weird he's a fucking weirdo though he really is poor guy it is December 5th, 2023, and I have now signed up for $1,000 for housing per month. That's not the issue. This housing thing is like Grace Vanderwall for him. He just makes it up and just keeps talking about it, and it has nothing to do with reality, and he just says all this shit. It's fucking... There's no housing for Daniel. Because the only housing Daniel can be in is public housing with other, you know, special people like Daniel, you know, and then Daniel's going to throw fits and kick holes in the walls and he's going to get kicked out of there too. It's just the way it is and that's going to continue happening with Daniel and it's not going to stop because he doesn't need housing. He needs a nice little straight jacket so he can't punch himself in a padded room. Now, I have to pay a thousand $500 for housing 
by January 2024. So he's giving himself another month on the streets, you know. Full emergency, GTA 7. That's so stupid. I have to pay 6000 I just got blocked by three different friends. Why? You don't have friends, Daniel. We can do it, Daniel. Why did your old account get banned? Mine's $1,200. So do I. It's called rent. <laughs> I need Bob to answer my calls. Emergency situation. Emergency. Emergency. Hello. Daniel, I think you should get a gun for... No! No, 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 no. Don't get a gun for self-defense against the trolls. Daniel should never have a gun. If Daniel, if Daniel listened, the 26 people liked it. If Daniel did this, he would kill somebody. They'd be like, sir, you're not allowed to sleep in the bathroom. Fuck you, bitch. And they'd start shooting him and shit like that. Fuck you, bitch. I wasn't doing anything, but I'm strapped this time, motherfucker. No, <laughs> someone, someone is a snake. Daniel, you can chew an apple through the through a letterbox. <laughs> so you can get that money by starting an OnlyFans, Daniel. Yeah, you could stick a toothbrush up his ass. That sounds like a good plan. Someone in Boulder just asked to buy me lunch. No bed tonight. I'm skipping lunch. Daniel, what is your cash app? This guy's an asshole. Don't give Daniel money. Why does your account keep getting banned, Daniel? Because he says crazy shit. He wants to kill people. He posts threats. You know, there's all kinds of reasons his accounts get banned. And there's his ugly face and probably his ugly music. Just remember... The crazy homeless guy you sit next to on the bus might be a famous star like Daniel. Sleeping rough or roughly sleeping. There isn't a single coherent thought behind those eyes. You're damn right. He's like a fucking monkey. This thing is like a damn primate. Look at that thing. This boy, this boy knows what's up. Sleeping in the, yeah. Mr. President is abducted by aliens. Are you in danger? Mr. President, please stay safe. Lovely view. Where are you, Mr. President? Daniel and his one with nature arc. Don't see any. It is December 6th. I have Westminster Municipal um, probation today. going to need to figure out a work location or work office because I'm going to have to start doing a lot of paperwork for company. There is no company, Daniel. What's going to happen is it's going to come down to this. You're either going to get a job or they're going to violate your parole or probation or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, you either get a job or they're going to violate you. It's just the way it is. He's he's got it in his head that he's all these things, and he's got, he's whenever they tell him he needs to get a job, he's gonna freak the fuck out on him. Watch, guaranteed. My case manager for Boulder, Colorado, wants uh, me to get a driver's license and learn to drive. 
they don't care about you learning how to drive and all that. So he's probably a troll that he's talking to. Road trip. Great news. Everyone off the road. Yeah, ugly face. He thinks he's attractive now is what they say. People have convinced him in his fucking crazy little mind that his little baby head with this huge nose is somehow attractive and his rat teeth. A week of extreme media darkness is coming this December 2023. I just made $5. What are you going to spend it on? Colgate? One tube would last a lifetime. This is my boyfriend I was telling you about. Can we share? Secret society is hunting you, Daniel. Stay safe. You're not supposed to tell him you're in this near Vincent. Folks and daggers, motherfucker. Daniel, are they coming for you? Excuse me? Yeah. You could have $2. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, of course. You just told me you were homeless, so. Uh, well, I mean, I. You gotta do what you gotta do. Exactly. Yeah. I appreciate it, though. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. What just happened here? Did one bum give another bum two dollars? I'm confused. Very kind of you, Daniel. It started off that he was paying $5 for a fan photo, and then he told me a situation, but went ahead and still gave me the $5. Because he gave me $5 and told me he was homeless, I decided since nobody else offered to be buy me lunch, I would give him back $2. Yeah, that's a very odd exchange there. What a kind act, Mr. President. You are so thoughtful. Yeah, but it's his ugly face. Some french fries. Look at how little, the, look at how big the french fries look in his little, ba ew, look at them fucking nails, man. They look like he's got fucking toes for fingers or some shit like that. Daniel, the secret society got to me, you are next. <laughs> Need to start claiming my allowance. Need my allowance, guys. Hi, Daniel. When are you touring Ireland? <laughs> Follow me. There's his ugly face. Daniel, your pictures aren't working. There's his ugly face again. Oh, I guess he liked this picture especially with this huge fucking nose that's bigger than his face. I'm going to my bank today in Denver, Colorado. Purple Heart. I just got a free pizza. I just made $8 from fans. Your shelter was leaked on the subreddit and now fans are waiting outside and are trying to sneak in and harm you. Oh, is that something someone sent him? Oh no, Daniel, are you okay? I had to call the police last night on a group of fans. Tina Vanderwall, Grace Vanderwall, and I have filled out an online application for housing. So I am on my way to the apartment now. Hell yeah, getting that low income housing. That's definitely where a millionaire would live. He's so fucking crazy. He should not be out here alone on the streets by himself. It is fucking disgusting that he's out here with us. I'm waiting on Tina Vanderwall to respond. Did she respond? Respect. And these people that pretend to be Tina are pieces of shit, too. Can you imagine being such a scumbag? You pretend to be somebody that they're stalking, a real person that exists in reality. You could just make up another girl, create another girl for him to fixate on. She doesn't even have to be real. You could... Lauren Armstrong is ass and send pictures of three different girls and he'd believe you. You know, that kind of shit. Alrighty, so Bob has completely fucked up my life by him ghosting me and my bank account issues have now put me with two warrants out for my arrest. I don't think he's got warrants for his arrest, so we can only hope, you know, in a, in a perfect world. Yeah. So Tina Vanderwall apparently got the time change mixed up versus Colorado versus where they live. So everything is messed up. Tina must be getting in your way. <laughs> 
Oh, it's a fucking brony. To cancel another UA test, so that. So I just had to cancel another UA test. So that is three days in a row, and probation is pissed off at me. Oh, I bet they are, you stupid motherfucker. You're not supposed to fucking put off your fucking urine test and shit like that. This isn't fucking the Tennyson Center and something you got to do for the for fucking, the, you know, social workers and shit like that. This is the state. They want you to take your dick and put it in a cup and pee in it and give it to them so they can look at your urine for some sick, disgusting reason that I don't understand. But, you know... You know, what you do on your time is your time, you know what I mean? Everything is about to spiral completely out of control. Bob has completely fucked up my life, and now I'm facing new issues because I can't get a hold of Bob. And Tina's already in the state of Colorado now. Uh, <laughs> so crazy. He's so stupid. See, that's the thing about Daniel, too. In addition to all the things that's wrong with him, he's also very low IQ. Like, he doesn't have a lot of... There's not a lot going on up there, you know? So, like I said earlier, he's kind of like a primate, you know? He's more of a monkey than a man. So, Grace Vanderwall and Tina Vanderwall just flew out to Denver, Colorado. And I'm running some errands. I'm going to need now an emergency ride. So someone has them convinced that she's coming to Colorado today. Well, that's what would happen in reality. That night, you'd be with her, you know? Daniel thinks she's got to do all these things and blah, 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 and all this crazy shit. Man, that's like a bitch giving you some kind of contract when you first start dating. You know what you do? You tear that contract in front of, up in front of that bitch, you say you're out of your motherfucking mind, and then you get away from her, and you don't date her anymore. Because any bitch to give you a contract with a list of demands is a crazy bitch. Straight up. I am going to have to hire an emergency Uber. I am going to have... I am off to try to do my UA test, and then I have to go back to the apartment to meet up with Tina and Grace Vanderwall. This is funny. What's he going to say whenever they're not there? There's yet another Tina and Grace that he's not going to trust again, and they'll probably not be trusting for a couple of days. Bob has been lying to Tina Vanderwall through social media that... I'm not allowed to be talking to them or seeing them. Well, they should definitely get a restraining order against you. And clean your damn camera, boy. It's all blurry. I have now been receiving word from the homeless shelter that Bob has been calling the homeless shelter trying to get me banned. And this was from the homeless shelter themselves. Man, that's mean. Someone using a voice synthesizer to pretend to be Bob trying to get Daniel banned. Yeah, I'm kind of sad, man. Today I was at Walmart, and they had on sale for three fifty. they had some uh, drizzled caramel popcorn with candy corn. I thought it was going to be good. The candy corn is gross, and the caramel's not dark enough. It needs more molasses to it. They fucked it up. In Boulder, Colorado, I had to call in a mass shooting because the same people from the frat has organized a fan meetup to try to kill me. What the fuck? <laughs> well, yeah, Daniel's definitely going to be in the nut house before the day's over, so let's watch this. Oh, man, that's fucking crazy. Calling in a shooting and shit. You know how stupid this... It's stupid motherfucker here, though, for real. Scaring people and shit with all that nonsense. I have now gotten word that CU University has opened up an investigation on how I can get to the school and get to classes safely. Sure they have, Daniel. Sure they have. 
sick, man. You need to get this guy off the street. Fucking literally just called in a bomb threat. I mean, if I, was it a bomb threat or a shooting? Is a shooting. Bob has now admitted to me in phone calls that he will be ghosting me because I am putting out information about our phone calls and videos. Of course, he doesn't want to be recorded. That's something that old people really don't like. I don't like it either, but I don't, I don't, people like born in the 70s and shit like that, they hate the idea of being taped. Bob is now saying he won't be answering the phone anymore and he doesn't want to have contact with me because I am leaking information and things that he said and it's starting police investigations. Really getting him to go against Bob now. People riling him up. See, this, this is what I hate about the managers and management and all that shit. I want to see what this tart is capable of on his own. All right. I don't want you guys feeding him all this shit and making him, you know, act a certain way or freak out about a certain this or a certain that. No, I want to see b pure, unbridled Daniel. I want to see some straight up Daniel because you know it'll be crazier than you can even imagine. It'll be so much better. Columbia Records has told me to uninstall Discord or I will be fired. <laughs> Discord. I didn't let it finish. Whoops. Columbia Records has told me to uninstall Discord or I will be fired. So I uninstalled Discord. A 14 year old told him he can't have a Discord. He's so fucking stupid. He, he, what, Daniel? Man, he does not need to be alone. He, is, he needs to be out there in a nut house, man. He's fucking, he's out there. He believes literally anything you say to him. History repeats itself. I received word less than eight hours ago that Tina Vanderwall and Grace were on the plane and had the apartment and was moving to Colorado. I can't wait. I hope, I hope you, I want to see the one raging after this. Then Columbia Records is now saying I'm no longer allowed to ever talk to Daniel McDougall again. And if they find out that I do, I will lose my contract forever. Columbia Records. So different trolls are basically telling him he can't talk to other different trolls because those trolls don't like the way the other trolls are trolling him. Troll, 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 troll. troll. For me to be in contact with Grace Vanderwall and Tina Vanderwall, I have to be on contract, apparently. They're feeding him some really, really crazy shit today. God. That's why I want to see him on his own without these 14-year-olds managing him. I will be putting Bob on a one-year ban from all of my concerts. And he believes he's going to have concerts now. Beautiful. I just got a life-threatening text message from Simon Cowell, and it says if I do not join his company and block Bob, he will send a hitman. Oh, uh, so now I've got the idiot believe that he's going to be killed by somebody. Tina Vanderwall wants to try to get in contact with the CU University intern for Columbia Records and see if they are really in contact. Nobody's in contact with you. You're just some fucking bum who stays in a homeless shelter who's convinced yourself that you're the, all these things and you have this insane fantasy all night long every night. I have received word that there could be a Columbia Records impersonator and people claiming that they work for Columbia Records that are trying to kill me. Ha ha ha! They're trying to kill me. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely out there lately. He's got to do something crazy real quick. Tina Vanderwall and Grace Vanderwall are believing that some of the seniors 
from CU University are claiming to be Columbia Records and impersonating. <laughs> Imagine that. Wow. So all the other trolls are turning on all the other trolls. You know, it's like they say about evil, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Bob just called me and asked why I'm putting all of this information public and what is even going on. And I explained to him that all I know right now is it's all out chaos. <sighs> Tina and Grace Vanderwall have just landed at the Denver airport and are looking for car rentals. I really had him with this one. Hi, Daniel. A member of our team has tried re reaching out to you regarding a potential collaboration. I just ordered a uh, pizza, and then I will be heading on my way to meet up with Tina. Oh, yeah. Clark was holding up my growth. <laughs> Who is Clark? Clark was a fake attorney. He's so fucking stupid, he believed it was a real one. Oh, that was the end of it. Oh, thank God. I Finally. Finally the end of this shit. All right, I had fun making this. Um, if you like me, like and subscribe. If not, don't. Um, feel free to leave a comment. You guys have a good one. All right, later on. Bye.